Inspector General of Police has said that law enforcement officials, including the police and military, are winning the war against banditry. He commended the collaboration of other security agencies against the rampant crime. The police is not fighting alone. All other security agencies in Synergy are fighting the bandits, including the military, which is leading the war. The police chief, Usman Al-Kali Baba, said this during a one-day working visit to Kora State Command, North Central Nigeria. He also announced that an approval has been secured from the Nigerian president, Muhammad Buhari, to employ more personnel. The president has given approval for us to employ 10,000 every year for six years. We've started, but we have not done for 2020. So we are doing for 2020 and 2021, uh, in all in 2021 and now. Between now and 2021, we will do the one for 2020 and 2021. Their training is for about six months. So we are expecting to increase our strength by 20,000 letters by the end of 2022. The Inspector General of Police, who is on a one-day visit, met with the state governor, Abdurrahman Abdurrazak, who lamented few number of policemen manning the states. Our challenges are enormous. Being a relatively safe state, um, security agencies um, tend to be comfortable with Quara, but at the same time have taken out forces from Quara. Um, the army, for example, they've taken out most of their men to the northeast and we're just making efforts to get them back. The police, um, our needs requirement is about eight to 10,000 men, but we have only 3,000 about. The two mobile squadrons we have here, they've been gutted out. The men are not there. When I visited the barracks, I visited the Mupu barracks twice this year. Um, it's just the wives and family, children that are in the barracks. At the palace of the Emir of Ilori, Alhaji Ibrahim Zulu Gambari, the traditional ruler, emphasized the low morale of the police personnel due to low salary and urged the federal government to correct the situation. The police boss and his entourage proceeded to the police headquarters where the commissioner of police also lamented the shortage of manpower as the state which has the capacity for 8,000 personnel now has less than 3,000. Having boundaries with Niger, Kogi, Ekiti, Osu, and Oyu, Oyo State. Kora State also has a long stretch of international border with the Republic of Benin. The people of Kwara are predominantly farmers. The Kwara State Police Command has an estab establishment strength of 8,000, but today the personal strength is less than 3,500. The command has eight area commands, 56 divisional headquarters, and over 70 police posts spread across the state. IGP, sir, you have done so much for the command, especially in the area of logistics and other crime-fighting equipment. But like Oliver Twist, we are still looking up to you for more in terms of vehicles, communication, and tracking gadgets, manpower, and others. I want to congratulate you that Quara State is one of the can I say most peaceful state? Compared to many others. The Inspector General of Police, while responding, noted that efforts are being made to correct the situation. Ali Kali Baba urged officers to be professional in their duties and avoid acts that could tarnish the image of the Nigerian police. I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to support you. I'm here to tell you that there is no problem that I do not know that you will tell me about the Nigeria police. 
but there is hope at the end of the tunnel. Is it our welfare that we are not working on? We are working on our welfare. Is it the logistics to do the work we are working on? While speaking on the police intelligence school in Share, the police chief said the place of learning for officers of the Nigerian police will soon be ready for operation. The police boss, while rounding off his visit, called for support for community policing, especially from traditional rulers and other stakeholders, as criminals residing within them need to be fished out. Kamil Sadiq, CBA TV, Nigeria.